Michigan Wolverines already have one of the best defenses in the Big Ten. However, the pieces that you guys are bringing in in the class of 2023 is about to make that defense even scarier. Now, first and foremost, I didn't know we had so many Michigan Wolverine fans on the channel. You guys absolutely showed a ton of love to when I broke down your guys' biggest offensive weapon pickup. So if you guys want to see that video, you can click right here if you haven't already because you guys brought in some weapons on the offensive side of the ball. But today, we're going to be focusing on the defensive pickups that the Wolverines brought in in the class of 2023. So be sure to leave this video a like and watch all the way to the end of this video because I want you guys to see all the defensive players that you guys brought in and comment down down below who's your guys favorite pickup so far on the defensive side in the class of 2023 and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on all your notifications if you want to see the wolverines beat ohio state yet again this year and let's jump straight into this video three two one so the wolverines first defensive pickup is actually the number one player coming out of france three-star edge rusher emirate koumba hey look at look at the wolverines going going across the going across the country going international to pick up some players He does a good job of using his hands and he's pretty quick for his size too, okay. Hey, I'm I'm actually really excited to see how international football continues to develop because there's been a lot more international players not only getting D1 scholarships, but actually making like a name for themselves in college. And that was a great rush. That was a phenomenal rush right there. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Look at this hand usage right here. Attacks. Boom, knocks the hands down, bends, come here, quarterback. Hey, the Wolverines might have found somebody over there in France. He uses his hands extremely well. Like, he does a really good job of knocking the offensive tackles hands down and being able to bend a little bit and get after the quarterback. Next up, the Wolverines brought in three-star, 6'6", 270-pound defensive lineman, Brooks Bear, who just manhandled that dude. Get him out of here. Nope. Throw him away and make a play. Let's go. Hey. Like I said, hey, UCLA, or no, my bad. Michigan is out here getting some big-time pickups on the defensive side of the ball. Again, knocks a hand. It just runs through his chest. Oh, my gosh. This quarterback got absolutely munched out here. Ran through his chest. Pink, pink. Hey, quarterback. It's not always pretty to play quarterback if you know what I mean. But this guy, Brooks Bear, he is lanky out here. And he's strong. So you can just see how strong that he is. Where are you going, quarterback? So far, the first two guys that the Wolverines brought in are going to be absolute quarterback hunters out here. Now getting into your four-star recruit, you guys picked up four-star linebacker Samaj Bridgman. Just absolutely hunting for quarterbacks. Great speed. That's what I'm that's what I mainly look for nowadays in linebackers. Can you cover in space? Wait, close on that. Stay patient. Stay patient. Quarterback, where are you going? Absolutely threw it straight to him. Pick six being able to nice block downfield too. Yeah, the Wolverines, you guys, you guys absolutely got in some quality pieces on the defensive side of the ball. Again, remember to watch all the way to the end and comment down below who's your guys' favorite so far out of all the defensive pickups that you guys have brought in. I mean, look at the speed that he has coming off of the edge. Flies around, boom. Yeah, that speed is that speed is going to be killer. Again, I also like the fact that look at how he's not a passive linebacker. He's constantly attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the line of scrimmage. He's meeting this guy at the line of scrimmage. A lot of linebackers, they wait for guys to come to them. They'll be two to three yards off the offensive line, and then they kind of wait for guys to go to them instead of going and meeting guys. That was a smooth little spin move. Yeah, Samaj Bridgman, this kid is nice out here. He's going to be a really good linebacker for you guys. I mean, when he, when he gets a clean burst off the edge, he has some ridiculous speed. Next up is a name that I think all my Michigan Wolverine fans should try to learn and remember. It is your four-star athlete who is standing at 6'7", 254 pounds, Collins Achimpong. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Achimpong. I, I think that's how you say his last name. I'm sorry for mispronouncing the last name. This dude 
is a whole animal out here. He slid a lot in this recruiting class. He, I, I'm pretty sure he was a five-star recruit a couple of months ago. I don't know why he's falling so much because this guy, he has five-star talent all written all over him. I mean, his size, his athleticism, they have him listed as an athlete, but to me, he's just going to be your typical defensive end. But six, seven and a half, 254 pounds. Like this dude, you're, just, you're not getting away from him. You pair him and Brooks Bear at defensive line or like edge rushers, but like that's literally just gonna be unfair. I mean, just look at how much burst that he has coming out of his stance. Like, no more normally guys who are this big, they they just struggle just getting out of their stance. He's explosive coming out of his stance. And then the long arms, yeah. You're not gonna be able to get a whole lot of passes by him. Collins Achiampong, I'm pretty sure that's how you say his last name. This dude is an absolute unit out here. And last but certainly not least, the Wolverines absolutely beefed up on the defensive line, bringing in the 11th best defensive lineman in the entire country, Eno Etta. Again, like I said, the Wolverines, y'all are going to be scary. The, the Just the defensive line talent that you guys have brought in alone is going to make you, you already have the third best uh, defense in the Big Ten. You add these guys, but look at him hawking them down, bro. Like he was catching up. This dude was catching up to that quarterback. That is wild. And that quarterback didn't look slow either. Yeah, you are going to have some dudes who are going to be causing offensive coordinators nightmares. These three guys, the between Brooks Bear, Collins Achiampong, and Ino Etta, those three guys are literally just absolutely, you could just rotate them all game and just let them just go hawk and hunt down quarterbacks all day long. I think these are going to be the guys that are really going to take your defense to the next level, which will make you just, you already have one of the best teams in all of college football. But I think if you guys just bulk up that defense, it's just going to make you that much scarier. You already have a really solid offense. You, you Go check out the offensive pickups that you guys brought in. You guys brought in a bunch of really good offensive pickups. These defensive pickups are, in my opinion, more impressive than the offensive pickups that you guys got. So those are all of the defensive pickups that the Michigan Wolverines brought in in the class of 2023. Be sure to comment down below who is your guys' favorite out of all the recruits. In my opinion, Collins Achiampong. I think that this guy, again, 6'7", 254 pounds. They have him listed as an athlete. So if he ends up playing tight end, he's going to be even scarier. But I think he's going to be playing on the, defensive, on the defensive line, defensive end role. That dude, he just has a motor for days. He is ridiculously explosive. He's just a freak athlete. You get him with those defensive line coaches for the Wolverines, and they are going to turn him into an absolute unit. But really, the, the guys who I'm most excited about are the three defensive line pickups that you guys brought in, in Brooks Bear, Collins at Chiampong, and Eno Etta. Those three guys are going to be, when you guys look back at this recruiting class, those are going to be the three guys that you're like, man, I'm really happy that we picked up those three guys. But like I said, comment down below who is your guys' favorite pickup. Be sure to leave this video a like, and also hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications if you want to see yourselves beat Ohio State yet again this year. And with that being said, I love and appreciate all you guys. I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.